graphing quadratic inequalities, well, we're going to put these two inequalities on a graph, figure out where the shading is. Is our parabola solid or dotted? All of that fun stuff. So if we look at our first blue one right here, um, I notice it's in standard form. To find the vertex, we need the vertex and the pattern of change to be able to graph this. To find the vertex, we do that negative b over 2a. Since we don't have, you know, like if we look at this second red one, there's that 4x, that's your b value. Since we don't have that in the blue quadratic, that means that it's a 0. So 0 over 2 times 2, which gives us 0. Um, so we have half of our vertex. It's a 0, and then we just plug in a 0 to figure out the y value. So 2 times 0 squared minus 4, we get a negative 4. So we have the vertex 0, negative 4. We can plot that. Pattern of change, we do our a value, which is 2 times 1, times 3, and times 5. So we have a pattern of 2, 6, 10. So from the vertex, I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 4 over 1, up 6 over 1. Reflect those points on the other side. Now, before drawing this, because we see an inequality instead of an equal sign, we want to ask ourselves, well, is this going to be solid or dotted? When we see that line with it, the or equals to, that does tell us to draw a solid, um, a solid parabola like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at the red one. Oh, and we're going to talk about shading. Well, yeah, let's talk about shading now. Uh, so where do we shade? Instead of shading above or below, with parabolas, we're actually going to shade inside or outside of our parabola. And a great way to do this is just do a test point. I notice that 0, 0 is not on the parabola, so we'll go ahead and test that into the blue quadratic. So 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 squared minus 4. We want to know if this is true. Is 0 greater than or equal to 2 times 0, or 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0, so negative 4. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 4? Because this is true, we want to shade where our test point is, which is right in here. So we are going to shade inside our parabola. All right, now we can look at our red equation and do our negative b over 2a. So we're going to do a negative 4 over 2 times our a is a negative 1. So we have negative 4 over negative 2, which is a positive 2. So we have half our vertex. It's a 2. Now we just have to plug in to get the other half. Um, hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to just erase this so I have more space. When we plug in that 2, it's a negative. Oh, this is going to, this would mess people up right here. Negative, plug in the 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 2. Now what's going to happen here is that we actually have to square the 2 first and we get a 4 and then the negative comes down. So we have a negative 4 plus 8 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So the other half of our vertex is at a 6. So I'm going to plot that point over 2, up 6. Pattern of change our a value is a negative 1, so it's just a negative 1, negative 3, negative 5 pattern. So we go down 1 over 1, down 3 over 1, down 5 over 1. Reflect our points on the other side. And solid or dotted, because it's just the less than, not the or equal to. This is going to be dotted, so we just draw dotted like this. And then are we going to shade inside or outside of this parabola? Uh, picking a test point again, um, if 0, 0 is not taken, that's a great test point. I see in my sloppiness, I <laughs> looks like maybe I'd be going through 0, 0, but I'm not. So we can test 0, 0 again. So we just plug in 0 for x and 0 for y. 0 is less than negative 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 2 is 0 less than, and um, we end up with just a 2. Is 0 less than 2? That is true, so we want to go ahead and shade. Let me grab a different color. Um, shade where the test point is. If I look at the test point, it actually is inside our parabola, so I'm going to shade inside this other parabola.